Welcome to another edition of Broncos Talk Sports, the Totally Basketball Edition. My name is Freddie Ramirez. And I'm with Monet. My name is What's up with it? Could you just wait Welcome for me back. to just say, and nope. with me? Nope. Taking over. Almost a year we've been doing this. <laughs> Almost a year. <laughs> Still haven't got it down. Okay. All right. Voice of God, hit me with what you got. All right. First, we got <coughs> DeMarcus Cousins. All right. Boogie. <sighs> Sad boogie, day. boogie, boogie. Torn Basketball Achilles world, on Saturday. On just the stupidest of plays. Tear, dude. By himself. So what do you think are the Pelicans chancing of making the playoff now? I mean, that's a hit, but... I think they're not going to make it. They had two All-Stars, and that's why they were going to make it with yeah, Anthony Davis. Yeah, now they got one. Now they got one. They're back to where they were before they got DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah. Which was not a playoff team. Not at all, but... Yeah, I still think a hit. Just because I think... You know, obviously now it's gonna mess them up mentally too. They're like, "Oh man, we were on a roll, we were doing okay, and then, boom, my man's out." Yeah, they did with Demarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. They had a pick and roll with two big guys. Yeah, they like how do you defend it. that? They're I, killing it. Ridiculous. They their did combined it. stats, bro. They did it oh, so well is. against the, the the Celtics. I think it was just ridiculous, and I think they also did it against the Warriors. But the oh, yeah. Warriors ended up lighting them up in the fourth quarter. Of so course, but still, but still, like the whole beginning, like that was great. Like holy crap, dude! Yeah, they're we're gonna miss you, Boogie. We'll see you next season, hopefully. Seriously, yeah. heal up. All right, voice of God. What's next? <laughs> we got Blake Griffin. <laughs> I'm just going to let you take this one. I feel Absolutely like... unbelievable. How are you going to just trade Blake Griffin? It's, oh, I was so mad, okay? Because I was like, oh, you know what? They're just talking about it. It's whatever. Like, scoffed it off. And then it, it happened. I, I feel like. I walked out of class and it happened. I feel like it was reported and then it happened. I was like, no. I, would, yeah. I didn't believe it. I was like, no. They're not going to do like, that because well, they wanted him to stay. They gave this whole big presentation on how they wanted him to stay there forever. They would hang up his jersey and all that nonsense, and then they just more. send him away. And then they don't even tell him. That's what's so disrespectful. He finds out on Twitter. He finds out on Twitter that he was traded. Like, come on. Put some respect on his name, dude. Like, well, But now he's, he said he's going to a team that... He's glad that wants him, wants him to be there. So you know what? Do you think? Okay. Um, is Detroit this. a good fit for him? Are they gonna build around him? Is, is this? I think they be? will. I, I mean, I would. I would. Because obviously the Clippers didn't want to. Bunch of liars. So you know what? Well, it seems I think he'll do great over there, and I'm gonna. They're also gonna try to deal DeAndre Jordan. So are the they're just gonna get rid of him? Are they going back to the Clippers that we all know and loved? Not good. And the Lakers dominating again? That's what I'm hoping for. That's what it looks like, honestly. If you're just going to start getting rid of everybody, Lob City's just obliterated. <sighs> Basically, you have your Jordan by in a couple Right, he's just all by himself. Like, that's not cool, he's man. He's going to lob it to himself and talk to him. Make it happen. Hey, yeah, people do that. Do the dunk contest by himself in the middle of the game. Just <laughs> give it to himself. Yeah, that may work. All right, voice of God, what <laughs> else do we have? We have the Spurs versus Spurs. the Rockets. No, Spurs and Rockets play tonight. Spurs and Rockets. On TNT. True that, true that. Um, Congrats. Those are the second and third best teams in the Western Conference. Arguably the second, no, I would say third and fourth in the whole NBA. Um, this is a good matchup. And then it is. Harden. One thing, I just want to congratulate James Harden. That man got a 60-point triple-double. I'm sure he's watching this video. Heck yeah. <laughs> 60 All points. props, dude. Do you think he does that again against the Warriors, though? I think he would do like twenty five. I mean, he was playing the Magic. Yeah, I will, I, I will say that you know, I listened to what they said, but yeah, dude, like it's freaking dope. And true, true. I'm not taking if, anything away from him. He dropped sixty points. I'm saying it will be, it would be hard. tough for him to do that again against. I don't think he does it against the Spurs. I do but think, the, however, the Spurs? Rockets are gonna win. Yeah, I. The Rockets are looking really good. I think they're the only team that can legitimately stop the Warriors. Yeah, so at least I like give them, them some competition, I, some trouble. Like, I feel well. A ideally, bit, if this you know this would saying? be ideal to just try to knock out the Warriors, is the Warriors play the Spurs in the second round mm -hmm. and play the Rockets in the Western right Conference Finals. That would be really a legitimate championship team. Whoever makes it to that. I'd like to see that. 
That'd be nice. Because the Spurs. Because we all know whoever wins the West wins the. Oh yeah. yeah because these. Automatically. Yeah. Automatically, we all know. All right. And speaking of teams, the Celtics are they back to where they need to be? They played. They, they lost against the Warriors. They lost, they but lost. they did a great job. Because I was about to. Woo! This conversation would have been totally different <laughs> if they did not show up and show out like I said they needed to. So, um, yeah, they need to stay doing that because that's what I've been wanting to see. That's what we all want to see. So if they keep playing like that, then it'll be something to look forward to. But if just they just go up and down it again, it's just gonna... Just a bad stretch of basketball from them. I, I don't think it's going to happen again. I mean, happen. It does happen. Yeah, yeah, it was four games, and then it, they had some injuries and people yeah, missing out. So it's understandable. But give them a little bit of slack, but... They need, to get, right. they need to get it together, so we're not predicting the West wins the yeah, whole once thing. The season we want to see some you know, competition. I needed to be how it was, all right? Because yeah. that was a good game. Well, I enjoyed it. We'll see how things go next week. True. For now, this is another edition of Broncos Talk Sports, Tony Basketball Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Freddie. I'm Ore. I'll see you later. We'll see you later. Holla.